That's a nice looking steak. Pretty nice river. Uh, highway is like right over there, but uh, easy path down Winooski River. I uh, I don't know what kind of fish are in here. I have the uh, Fish Brain app that usually says what kind of fish are around. And I'll check that in a minute. Oh, that looks like a nice spot. I might go back and get my pole again. If I can cast from right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna come back here in a minute and try this little puddle. Winooski River. I have no idea what's in here, so I'm using a little tiny spinner. Draw a cast here. Break my pole. What? Was only about that big. Are you serious? It was right under that tree right there. It's right at the campsite. Yeah, that looks like a good spot. Are yeah. you serious he though? Zoomed out, he grabbed the worm, swam back in, and I yanked too early and I hooked him and he came out of the water he was hanging and then he flopped off and he was only like this big like really like tiny oh, I missed it I was messing with the food so right here laid out in the sun we have a uh, solar shower the water inside heats up from the sunlight and then you can take a shower but um it's getting dark it's gonna be dark very soon, so. That's a nice looking steak. What's the butter that you get that seems to last a long time? This is whipped butter. Whipped butter. My sister got me this hammock. It's kind of dark, it's getting dark. Sun's going down here. Let's see if I can brighten it a little bit. That's too bright. There's Leah. The fire. There's the creek. Just gonna rest in the hammock and digest. That was delicious. Chicken steak in the forest. I caught another one right there under that tree. It was tiny like that. Just flopped off the hook and went back in. All right, taking a nap.
to the campsite. But then we have the lake right out over there. The campsite. Lake. also very strange. <laughs> I've, uh, I've been up to like Maine once and I gotta loop around I think. And we're further north than we were in Maine right now so I've never been this far north and I'm seeing a lot of new new sites Where's that I've mist? not seen before. Where's the mist? It's telling me to cut down over here. Fisher Game Club. And I just wanted some samples from this creek here. So I got two, it's enough for me. And I'm gonna head out. Score. Keeping this. Hey guys, I just came to the Iroquois Indian Museum in 324 Caverns Road, Howes Cave, New York, and it's right behind me here. Um, I went inside to see what they had, and they had like draws and draws of uh, Native American artifacts, spear points, arrowheads, uh, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of carvings, bone carvings, and stuff found in the area here. And they have uh, art and artifacts from all throughout time, from 13,000 years ago to right now. way too high it's like rapids in here uh, I talked to some locals on the way in they said they've never seen the water this high before so uh, I can't go down and look into look at the cobbles it's maybe maybe about uh, this deep of fast moving water so no good but there are a ton of mushrooms here right at my feet it's a massive rock face is that all uh, granite and nice
piece of quartz. Jeez. Let's get this cleaned up. What is that? Weird. Which pool? Let's try this one. Okay. It's got like this weird... I'm gonna try to nap. Piece of quartz. She handed it right to me as soon as I walked in. Um, this is bacon, cheddar, and ranch on the fries. And just cheese, burger, bun, lettuce. What does that taste? So that's worthy. Mmm. <laughs> it's a Wagyu beef. Is that what it is? Wagyu beef. So that's um, that's a crazy taste. Mmm. Let me try one of the fries and dip it ketchup. All right, so this is a ranch sauce, cheddar, bacon, and the fries are cooked in beef tallow. So I'm gonna dip it. Well, maybe I won't dip this first one in ketchup. I'm gonna try it without the ketchup. All right, there it is. <laughs> That's a flavor. That's a strong flavor. Mmm. That's gonna make my eyes cross. What kind of flavor? It's just very strong. I don't know. It might be the tallow. Mmm. Yeah, that's really good. Does it taste like I'm eating a really exotic, expensive meat? Like camel or something. <laughs> What does camel taste like? I, I would assume it would taste amazing like this. But uh, I'm taking it really slow because it's really rich.
All right, so I found the only place in this section of the state that has any kind of coffee. So I got two of them, uh, I got a headache. So, uh, caffeine and Tylenol. Sun's going down. Uh, I found some promising locations today. So I found this nice little campsite. I'm gonna do a short little video here. Got the hammocks, but we're on a high ledge above a mountain river here. And I brought my fly pole, fly fishing. I'm gonna see if anything's down in these little pools here. I bet you there is. I bet you there is. Let's see. This uh, ridge is higher than it appears on video. And all these rocks are covered in super slippery moss. Here, look. Giant boulders. And then, I bet you there's fish right in there. Yes, I bet you there's, I bet you there's brook trout. Bet you it's wild too, little wild brook trout because there ain't nobody around here. Managed to get this little guy. There he is. Beautiful. One last look. Alright, gonna throw him back. It's got the same staining, kind of. Yeah, this is a quartz though. But yeah, it's a quartz. Quartz. Hmm. Alright. Well, pretty much every creek I've been to has had some kind of flint so far. A lot of the creeks are way over flooded right now. So I'm, uh, I'm looking where I can, but even with limited, even with limited option, I'm still finding stuff. It's good stuff too. It's really good stuff. This almost looks as if it is a limestone, but it's so high quality that I should see if the sparks. I should give it a test. I got this too, it's not so great, but. That quartzite stuff? Something to mess with. This is that tough stuff. That's a lot of limestone. Yeah, that's limestone. I'm tricking it. All right, I'm not seeing too much else. This whole stretch here, and I only found four pieces, maybe five. Most of this is limestone. But there is high quality flint here as well. It's just going to be really hard to find. You'd have to spend a lot of time looking. <laughs> if anybody's wondering what this is, this is a, it's a ferro rod. 
and a little piece of ceramic. And it's made by Wazoo Survival Gear. And what you do, I'll show you. you pull this down. And then you take this. And you can start a fire with it. So that's an awesome bit of uh, survival gear that you could get for yourself from Wazoo Survival Gear. Go check that out. I'll put the link somewhere like here or down in the comments or in the description or something. I don't know. It's it's a fun little thing. I always start fires with it and it's 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 fun. I like it. I would love to make something out of, something big out of this kind of stuff. That is really pretty. Okay, onwards. How you guys doing? I have some uh, stuff that I pulled out of creeks. It's Onondaga Chert. And I want to show you guys what has been going on with it. With this stuff, I've only really been able to make smaller points. Which isn't bad. These are not bad points. And I'll show you why. I also got some rock Onondaga from Canada from Ontario Rockhound. Now this stuff does not have the same problems that the stuff I'm finding in creeks is having. Here's the stuff I'm finding in creeks. And here's the stuff Ontario Rockhound sent me. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about with this rock. Try this piece. Now the problem is, it fractures into cubes. So when you hit it, this piece doesn't look too bad right there. You see that blue gray? The problem would be getting a decent, there we go decent flake off. For the most part, breaks off into little pieces like that. If you tap it, it kind of just crumbles apart. This piece wouldn't be too good, as you can see there. And I still got all this. Now if I come in at the side, it doesn't, it does not seem to crumble into cubes as bad. Like that. Yeah, make a point right out of right out of that. But I think what I'm gonna do is try to nap this piece down and see if I could come up with a tiny point. See how that cube just blew off? This is what I mean about fracturing into cubes. So I've been trying to learn how to work around that and it seems like the problem is uh, like the outer layer turns into cubes so let's see if we could get a point out of this I see a crack going through there and a crack going through here so again it's gonna be a little tiny point Those little points are effective. Um, where I collected this rock, um, the artifacts found near there were all pretty small. Which leads me to believe that they did work this stuff. 
And when I say they, I mean the ancient people. I kind of just smack it down into a rough shape until I could start using the indirect. All right, basic shape like that. And I'm just working around the damage that I see. So I'm gonna knock away this whole piece that had the crack. Again, kind of cubey. And then from this point, it's just a matter of thinning it. I don't really see too much more that's gonna break it. It looks, it looks cruddy, but usually as the end result, it comes out pretty nice, just, just small. So we'll see if we could actually get a little bit of a possibly bigger point out of this piece. Just don't know how possible it actually is to get bigger pieces out of this creek rock. If you get the other Onondaga, that thing I could make huge blades out of. Um, I showed that in one of my other videos, recent, uh, the stuff Ontario Rockhound sent me is amazing rock. Let's see if we could fix this. also kind of crushes weird sometimes, but that's okay. I'm trying to see if I could get a somewhat bigger point this time. I'm glad I was able to show what I meant about cubes. Sun, is, sun angle is changing on me here. That's okay, you can still see what's going on. So there is some weird stuff in this piece. Show you what I've been struggling with here. that ridge off right there. Now this stuff in particular, I do not recommend trying to get extremely thin because it is uh, so freeze damaged. The thinner you go, the more chance you have of breaking it. Trying to thin the base there a little bit more. I lost my abrader. And I don't have anything else nearby except this, and it is not really too helpful. stuff really is uh, really hard to get used to. I'm going to try
try coming in from right there to get rid of some of that turtle back. It's also really tough. And if you hit too hard, you're gonna mess it up. So I just hit right there. Pulled a good portion of that off. And I see some freeze damage in there. So I'm gonna try to indirect it out by putting it directly on that little hinge. lightly tapping that does not seem to be working all right that spot is the problem I'll do my best with it it's uh, a little it's also a little unpredictable this material so don't be too upset if it breaks on you. Especially when trying to get rid of these ridges. This is usually when I break it. But so far, so good. Really just gotta be able to thin right there and it's giving me a hard time this doesn't want to This is not the type of rock that I could attack it from the other side, although I'm going to try right here. Because what happens is it gets all hung up in that freeze damage. You can see the freeze crossed right there. And now I got a weird ridge right here that I got to try to get rid of. Makes things really hard. And this is why you lose a lot of size on these uh, freeze-cracked river gravel kind of deals. Got some of it. There we go. I took a risk and really, uh, really wailed on it. Right there. Flattened it out. All right. It's gonna have a weird twist to it. This one. Right. Just gotta thin this section out. The end result with these, I've been pretty happy with. For uh, hunting points, at least. All right, I am a little bit nervous to be using indirect much more. So, I think I'm gonna switch to pressure. See if I can get rid of this one little tiny spot that's annoying me. And no, so I'm gonna switch to I might have to do a little more indirect here, just because it's really hard to pressure flake the thick spots on this stuff. For me, it is very hard. I don't want to hurt myself with the shoulder injury and all. So I found out, I actually have an MRI in a few days because they think it's coming from my neck and not my shoulder. So, fingers crossed might actually fix the problem soon I'm 
Now I do not have a lot of this stuff. So I'm not going crazy with the thinning. That's thinner than most artifacts made of made from this stuff. That I've seen at least. Shape up the base a little bit. See that? Get rid of this little corner. Thin the base a little more. See what we got there? The uh, the tip is super thin, so that's gonna happen. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, this is gonna turn out to be the exact same size as the other points, which is what keeps happening. Let me see if I can indirect this spot to be a little, see that spot there? Got it. There we go. Much, much, much better. So I don't know, maybe I'll notch, maybe I'll notch this one. Just because all the others I've made like a Madison style points, which is actually what has been found a lot in that area. And Madison is like a simple, uh, simple triangle. I think I'm going to try to thin it a little more. Like that. And, uh, I might, yeah, I think I'm gonna try to notch this one. Just because I don't have too many notched points made from this stuff. Do have to thin it a little more. Try right here. I mean, like I said, this stuff is good for hunting points. All right. Sharpen up the edges. Just real quick. Seems like this rock really just wants to turn into triangles. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever worked a rock that it just seems to want to go a certain way and only that way, but that's what this rock seems to do for me.
I got one chance to thin this side right there. I don't want to make it any thinner because then I can't use it for a hunting point. So let's see. Okay, let's see if I could indirect that. Hopefully it don't break. We will see. Just doesn't want to go. Alright, that's the best that's going to get. So what I'm going to do on this one is put notches in it and try to straighten it a little. Um, I think I'm gonna put in like a side notch at near the base though, just tiny. Almost like a tiny metal wood maybe. shaping the base. I did really want to show you guys what I'm talking about with these small points. Even in pressure flaking, it's kind of crushing into cubes. There you go, guys. That would for sure fit really nice on an arrow. Would fly nice. And it's sharp as heck. That's the, that's the plus of this stuff. It is sharp as heck, man. I do like it. I just wish I could find better pieces that weren't so damaged. All right. Now, just for a, another quick comparison. Flake stuff. See what I mean? Came from this piece. get out all the others again see like I like that one that looks like uh, an artifact that was in the flint napping calendar this year reminds me of one that was in there a little bit a little bit taller but here's the stuff made from it the only other notched point I really have is this one This is the one I just made. This is the one I'm. This was the first one I made from this stuff. Wasn't sure what I was doing yet. Um, an extremely tough piece. See, it's mostly limestone. It's got weird crud in it. The smallest one I made. This is probably the best outcome so far. And then uh, some more super tough stuff, kind of thick, but that would work. And I didn't finish this one yet. Anyway, that is Onondaga Creek Cobble. All right, guys, stay tuned. Uh, do me a favor and go back and watch the past few videos. It shows me finding this stuff and everything leading up to it. Some other fun stuff, some contests. I'm keeping these flakes to uh, work into 
small points like that. I'm really liking making these. I've, it's been so long since I've done the, the small points. Many, many years. But I'm really enjoying it. It's a challenge for me. I'm, uh, I'm so used to making knife blades and stuff for, for use for cutting. And it's good to uh, mix it up every now and then. Alright guys, that is it for me. You guys have a good one. Make sure you go back and watch those other videos. Uh, you can miss out on uh, contests, giveaway contests and stuff. And I got some pretty big news coming up soon. That is it for me guys. Have a good one. See you guys.